love having breakfast for dinner. Eggs are so comforting, they are a great, fast, easy dinner, and this is a great way to do them. This is a frittata, but unlike other frittatas, it's not started on the stovetop. It bakes exclusively in the oven, so you can just throw it in there and forget about it. It starts with a little bit of green onion. Just needs to be chopped up. And then some yellow pepper, just a half a yellow pepper, just into sort of small cube pieces. Also a little plum tomato. I like to use plum tomatoes because they're a really reliable source of good tomato flavor. Even in the dead of winter, for some reason, a plum tomato has more flavor than any of the other tomatoes that are available out there in the grocery stores. And then I'm just gonna whisk up six eggs. I learned from a pastry chef who used eggs every day that it's best not to crack an egg on a, on a surface, on a bent surface. You should always crack it on a flat surface, that will prevent little tiny shards of the eggshell from getting into the egg. So I'm just going to whisk these guys up. And then for seasoning, I'm going to use some oregano, dried oregano. If you happen to have fresh, that would be great. And then a nice healthy dose of pepper. So that's pretty much it. I'm just going to add the veg. And then this is just a diced up piece of ham. And finally, some good old fashioned cheddar. Stir that around a bit. One of the important things is to make sure your pan that you're gonna cook it in is well oiled. This is going to help the frittata to brown on the outside, and it's also going to help get it out of the pan when it's time to eat it. This whole mixture goes right into the pan. The oven is at 350 degrees, and this goes right in. After about 25 to 30 minutes, the frittata will be cooked. It's not jiggly anymore, and it is a little bit golden at the edges and absolutely beautiful. I like to serve it with a bit of salad, but there's already a ton of vegetables in there, so it doesn't really matter. You can eat it on its own. There it is a ham and cheese frittata with a little salad. A gorgeous little dinner.